Max made cookie butter brownies. Yeah! Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the food experience. Today's experience, I'm making some cookie butter brownies in the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven. I have the grill version, but the regular version will work fine. In fact, any countertop oven or even regular oven will work fine. First, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to the people over at Whipped, where I found this recipe. In the description down below, I will have a link back to Whipped, and from there, you could get all the exact measurements that I used that I am not disclosing in this video. So, without further ado, we have some preparation to go. Let's do it. Granulated white sugar, brown sugar, and a couple eggs. Mix it all together on low speed until everything's smooth and well combined. Adding in room temperature butter. Mix that in until the butter is well combined with all the other ingredients. That should be sufficient. Sifting in all-purpose flour, cocoa powder, and baking powder. Fold in all the ingredients. Just make sure everything is very well combined. That's definitely looking pretty darn good. I'm using a disposable aluminum pan. It's 8x8. Eight eight. First, I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. Put some parchment paper down. In goes the brownie batter. Try to smooth everything out as best you can so it's even. I heated up some of the cookie butter and I'm just going to kind of drizzle it around. You can use a knife or anything similar to kind of swirl it in. Lastly, I'm going to top it with some walnuts. You certainly don't have to use them, but I like walnuts in brownies. That's looking pretty groovy. I have the wire rack in the bake to position and in go the brownie mix. And you don't have to put it all the way back. In fact, I wouldn't. That way the back end doesn't get done faster than the front. If it's right in the middle there, it should be fine. I'm also setting the timer for 25 minutes. There are four minutes remaining. Because this is a countertop oven, I feel that they might be done. Pulling them out to check. Nothing's coming on the toothpick, so I believe it's done. You want to let it cool off for probably around 10 or 15 minutes. I'm letting it rest on top of the wire rack. I'm hoping everything comes out nicely. We're going to find out. Moment of truth. Yeah, looks good. There's a better look from the side. Cut them up into pieces. I noticed there's a little bit of crumbling. Could be that they haven't settled yet. There's a look at one of the end pieces. Let's go back up top and I'll sample it with you guys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brownies are done. Got some on a plate. I'm going to wrap them up and take them into some people at work. And I have a couple more set aside. Time to try them out. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, man, these things are fantastic. From the walnuts on top to the cookie butter below it to the brownie below that. Um, it's so decadent yet rich and so super tasty and easy. So easy to make. I'm not even a baker. In fact, I'm more of a carnivore and I'm used to cooking meats. But I'm really getting into this whole baking thing. And if I could do it, you could do it too. So, don't forget to go over to Whipped where I found the recipe, and make sure to subscribe. They have all kinds of good stuff there. And in the description of their video, they have the complete recipe and ingredients, but watch their video anyways, because it's fun. I like the way they do their videos. There's no real talking or narration. It's just simple, direct, to the point, you know? I hope you really enjoyed my video of making cookie butter brownies. The only thing is, next time, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the cookie butter, it's not that it's not good. It's actually really tasty. But I didn't really get that swirled effect. It kind of just made its own topping. And I'm okay with that. It tastes great. But um, definitely going to try it again. 
look forward to a follow-up video from me. And with that said, if you're new to my channel and maybe you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got all kinds of good things coming up. And I want to wish you all a very stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I am KJ and EO, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.